Okay, here's a little treat for my mate Giles. Evo Haler. You'll find his channel down in the description box. Kane! A little bit of Western multi stage action. This is the Amstrad CPC version. It was originally a Commodore 64 title and then cross ported to CPC, Spectrum, Acorn, Electron, uh, you know, all the, all the computers at the time. And it can be said that the CPC version is probably the most accurate to the original Commodore version. Here's the first stage where we got to slaughter. Oh, I completely missed that, didn't I? Kane, it's um, a Western style game. Uh, you play as Mr. Cowboy. It's like a reference to High Noon, I think, the film High Noon. And you have four stages to complete. You have the first, which is the bow and arrow shootout, where you have to kill these birds. Oh, I didn't go for him, but I got him. Why you're killing birds, I have no idea. But anyway, that's that's the, that's the first stage. You then have a horseback ride stage, uh, where you go to the village, uh, village itself, the town itself. Then you have a shootout in the town. And then a train ride, another horseback ride, out of town. And that's it. Uh, three levels of difficulty. And the four stages just repeat until you've completed them um, the hardest. Um, and it's it's um, not bad. It's not nice looking for an early game. It's uh, nice looking. Some quite smooth, fluid animation going on. Uh, some good sound effects. Some great sound effects actually. Some good samples, especially on the uh, train ride section. But we'll get to that later. But as you can see here. You've just got to mindlessly slaughter these birds for no apparent reason. Um, <laughs> I have no idea why. All running out of time. I've got two arrows left. You get these two. Oh, because sometimes you can hit two at the same time. And I've completely wasted that last arrow. Anyway, here's the tr uh, the uh, first horseback section. Some lovely animation on that horse. Yes, he's a bit basic, a bit flat. But, oh, nearly missed that jump there. And the quicker you do this and the better you jump, obviously the more lives you get. Uh, they're, they're depicted by the clock sort of icons at the top. Same with all the other stages, you know, the more points you, you accrue, uh, the more lives you gain for further stages. But we, well, we breeze through that pretty quickly. Didn't need to jump that sign, I just like doing it because I'm a flash bastard. And here's the shootout stage. Graphically probably the ropiest of the stages. But... Some nice sound effects, and them gunshot sound effects are pretty... Yeah, got you there, sneaky, hiding at the top. You just run to the far uh, right edge there to um, reload. Six shots to get the guys, the bad dudes. Oh, is he going to... Come on. No, oh, I missed him. That guy there. Him. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, run out of shots, got to reload. Bang, in the head. Bang, in the head. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, get this. He, oh, I missed him. He was on me there. Get him in the leg. Nice little basic shootout game. Yeah, it seems to work well. I mean, the, the crosshairs can be a little sluggish now and then. But that was simply done. And now onto the hardest stage of the game, which is the train ride. Oh, did I miss that? No, I didn't miss that. The double jump is difficult to get right the first time around. All you have to do is catch the, uh, the locomotive at the head of the train. So the first time you play this stage, it's not too hard once you mastered that double jump at the beginning. Oh, that's a good jump. Oh, I'm going to mock that up. Oh, look, it doesn't matter because I've reached the locomotive. But now it uh, starts to go through the, the levels again on the second difficulty level, and it gets harder, especially the train ride. So we're back here for some more birdie killing action. Can we get this guy there? No, missed him. That was rubbish. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> See, it takes a nice bit of judgment here to um, shoot the birds, especially from this distance. So you've got to really, there you go. See, shoot way in advance of uh, where your target is. Oh, that was poor. Yay, got you. I like the fact that if you get a bird, then the arrow returns to you. You don't lose the arrow, which is uh, it's quite nice. Quite a nice little touch. Uh, that's got, yeah. 
So there is a way of hitting two birds at once sometimes, because sometimes I fly... Oh, that was poor. Missed both of them. Yay! I remember this stage looks particularly nice on the Commodore 64. Uh, not bad looking on the Amstrad. It's pretty enough. I remember the Spectrum version got slated uh, for many different reasons. And um, I think the Commodore 16, the Acorn versions. Oh, got two here. And I missed them both. How the hell did the arrow go through the middle of them? Fucking flying rats. Sorry, I digress. Um, the Acorn version, it was missing stages. I think missing the horse stages for some reason. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Get you. Yes. Oh, what have I got? Two arrows left. No, that was a wasted arrow. That was nice. Not supported either. The farther they fall, the more points you get. So I got a nice little extra life there. Oh, what a shot. Just the bow and arrow king. Oh, I nearly got the second guy there. Can I get him? Yes, I can. Robin Hood meets um, Clint Eastwood. <laughs> oh, that was shit. Right. The second time we'll go to the ride decaying. This stage is pretty simple to be honest. Get your jumping right and uh, you, you've got no problems. There aren't, I don't, I don't recall any double jumps on this bit. They are tricky, the double jumps. Uh, you've got to really jump way in advance of the obstacle to get it right. And when you do, uh, when you get caught, um, the horse rears up and uh, throws um, Mr. Cowboy ahead in a rather comical sort of plank-like fashion. Right, back into the town. Let's cut more of these guys off. See if we can survive this time, because it's... Ooh. You, you, not you, sir. No. Oh, I missed him. Ah, there you go. Let's reload, and... Oh, shit. Who the fuck shot me? That little bastard in the jeep. Must have been. Right, he's, he's having it. Have it! Ah, you see, you couldn't get away, boy. Up on the roof. Boom. Oh, missed that. Missed him. Got him. Him, yep. Yeah. Hmm. It's very orange, isn't it? I think it's out of the stages, this is probably the graphically the weakest one. Um. It's a bit, I mean, extensive use of mode zero used here. But it still works, especially in these sections it works. I mean, that try. oh, I think I fucked that up. And yes, he has. Oh, splat. And that's annoying when that happens because you've got to, it respawns you here and you've got to turn around to get the position for the jump right and then you're way behind. And no, I think I've had it enough now. Oh, no, 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 all wrong. Bat leg in the pile of shit. Right. Let's start again. Oh, good. Right, let's go. See, that, I like the sound of that train. Lovely sort of sampled sound of that train. Really cool. Animation of that horse is um, particularly nice. Well, I've already said that, haven't I? I haven't started looking at myself. Right, we've got another double jump. Another double jump coming. Oh, and screwed it up. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's it. End of uh, end of my go. Anyway, I hope uh, you enjoyed that, Giles. Kane to 1986 on the Amstrad CPC. A nice little Western uh, multi-adventure game. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Nova Bug out. <laughs>